Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for All About Android is provided by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. This episode of All About Android is brought to you by Ford, featuring available voice activated sync. Sync gives you versatile access to music, podcasts, and more from just about any device. Check it out in the new 2012 Ford Focus and at Ford.com slash technology. And by Netflix. Watch thousands of TV episodes and movies on your PC, Mac, iPad, iPhone, Android, or TV instantly. All streamed directly to you, saving you time, money, and hassle. For your free 30-day trial, go to Netflix.com slash twit. Welcome to All About Android, episode 38, recorded on Monday, December 12th, 2011. This is your weekly source for the latest news, hardware, and apps for the Android faithful. I'm Eileen Rivera. I'm Ron Richards. And there's... We, the, we have a special guest. We have a special guest. Sitting Welcome. in... <laughs> Hi. Sitting in for Mr. Jason Howell. I kidnapped yeah. him from Rev3. Rocking yeah, out you to did. your theme song. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, this is Mauricio Balvanero. For Hi, those guys. of you who don't know him, he is the producer of uh, Revision 3's App Judgment, among... Many other shows. App Judgment's co-creator, along with myself. That's yeah, right. Yeah, that's yeah. true. You guys created. Yeah, and then, I used and then, to work with, with the, the both old of you. Gangs, this is, I know. Yeah, this I is know. the old original <laughs> App Judgment crew. This wow, is awesome. I, I, thought, I, did, I forgot. I didn't realize that. <laughs> uh, yeah. Jason is whooping it up with a, I believe, a bachelor party. I think weekend. he's shooting the Hangover Part Three right is that now. That was happening. <laughs> hangover so. Part Three with yeah. Jason Howell yeah. and his friends. Yeah, so there exactly. you go. I don't feel so sorry for him. And you're back from France. I'm back from France. You know, I went to the web last week for Twit, and I got these really cool Androidify stickers. I went to Paris and I all mean, I got hey, were these Chad. Android stickers. <laughs> I know. I only got were these Android stickers. And a cold. Can you show um, my link? There it is. Oh, cool. It was on a big screen. Oh, I made right. it on a Zoom and then they had it in a big screen and then they printed it out for me and there's all, you can't really see, but there's tons of little Androids. There's a huge Android That's pretty guy cool. out there. Google had a big presence yeah. at the web and uh, there were like, you know, Eric Schmidt, Marissa Meyer, Hugo Barra, tons of Google people there. Yeah, uh, yeah I came back with a little cold, but it's, uh, mm. it's not well, jet laggy cold. Little that's a long flight. Oh, that's my God. a long flight. It was direct, which I do like. How did you? How did your entertainment work out? Okay, so <laughs> on the way there, I had the. It was nine hour flight there. It's faster to get over there. I had my right. Kindle Fire. Okay. How many hours did that last? Uh, eight. I had uh four or four hours of Gossip Girl. Uh, Are you hooked? And two, mo yeah, you <laughs> got me hooked. <laughs> and so, and then I've got like a movie. I watched Hannah, and then uh. Oh, God, what was the other thing I, I watched? I hated Hannah. Yeah, I didn't like it. I didn't see it. But it lasted. And so huh. when we landed, I think I had about 17%. Wow. Oh, so that's that that's good, actually yeah. really... And then, oh, and then I read a little bit of Steve Jobs. Nice. Oh, you okay. know, I didn't really play any games. I wasn't in the mood. You know when you're just... It's a long yeah. flight and you're just... There's things I need to just keep my mind off and it wasn't playing games. I like so. you, when you see one of us travel, you can see us setting up with like, I flew, I was flying back from New York yesterday mm -hmm. and like, I had my laptop, I was editing a podcast, I had my iPad, like it was <laughs> like, I feel bad for the person sitting next to me. I do that too. I, like, yeah. I, I cycle between laptop, iPad yeah. and physical magazines. Yeah. 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 I don't bring out my phone. Uh, yeah, ever. well, I use my phone for take for when we're taking off to listen to music. <laughs> Ron! Me and Alec Baldwin. Right, Alec Baldwin. Yeah, <laughs> this is great. Well, no, what's great you is don't that play I fly... Words with friends, though, No, I don't know. Right? No, what's great is I because I fly Virgin and JetBlue, and they both have the TVs, yeah. and so, like, I put my headphones in, and I put my phone in my pocket, and I, wrap, and I run my headphones down through my hoodie, so I can just be like, I'm I watching TV. I used to do TV. that in high school. I would, I would listen exactly. to the radio. You know, you might be way. the person yeah. that crashes anyway, the plane. But anyways, it's great to be back. You guys had a great show last week, by the way. Thanks to Nicole and Jason Applebaum. It was, yeah, that was a lot of fun. Yeah. I was bummed I couldn't be here. But you got the, and the Nexus. Oh, I did get to hold a Nexus in my hand. I still haven't. I was so and, jealous. Uh, yeah. And I played with it thanks to, I want to call him Paris Lemon, but M.G. Siegler <laughs> 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 of, of Crunch Fun, formerly of Deck Crunch. Uh, you know, he was really nice. I saw him whip out a phone beside his iPhone. Mm -hmm. And I was like, what? And then oh, I just thing. Especially I even, considering with MG, like MG using something other than an iPhone is and, shocking. And, is I, like... and I kind of did a double take and I didn't say anything. And then we were kind of in the hotel lobby. Finally, he said, hey, Eileen, did you see the Galaxy Nexus yet? And I was like, Ooh. that is what you have in your hand. Sarah, Sarah said to me, she's like, I'm surprised you didn't rip it out of his hands when he was yeah, standing yeah. before you. Like, so he let me hold it for a little bit and I was kind of playing around. It's... You, you like know what? It? It's not as big as I. I was feared that it was going to be huge. Yeah. And I wasn't going to be able to hold it, but it's fine. Actually, yeah. it's about as big as, as, big as, as your my phone. phone. Yeah, yeah. And um, 
I kind of like it. It's yeah. smooth. I, I, I would like to play with it more than the five minutes that I that I had with it. Yeah. But um, I kind of like it. I yeah. think I see what all the great, um, you know, uh, uh, reviews are. Yeah. But uh, yes, Ron. Sorry. We'll get to that. <laughs> hey. Uh, Enough chit chat. This week we're going to be discussing the stuff that Schmidt said at the web. Uh, we're going to talk about the Logitech review update for Google TV. Tons of very cool app updates and another grab bag of apps. Who's going to win the arena? I don't know. I got. I got. I'm on a run. I'm on a run. I don't know. I'm I think I'm going to win this mm, one. Yeah. Uh, but let's get into our news. Okay. So as I mentioned, I was at the web. And Google's presence was huge there. They sponsored, uh, they were one of the sponsors of the event. And uh, probably the biggest uh, panel attended and probably the most talked about panel, I believe, was Eric Schmidt's panel. Uh, Loic Lemur, who is a uh, creator of the, uh, of the web, uh, was on stage with him. And uh, Schmidt had some very interesting things to say while on stage. I have three clips here. The first one, I just kind of want to show... Um, I just I, th I thought it was sort of funny because it kind of talks a little bit about the essence of of who Eric Schmidt is. That's right, Eric. So I, I will touch on the three themes of Loeb this year: mobile, uh, social, and a bit of a local tease at the end um, by talking about ice cream sandwich. Uh, ice cream sandwich is uh, by the, way, the you, ice cream sandwich is just because it begins with the word I, right? It's actually a soft for yeah. release, and the one before it was called a honeycomb. We started with right. an H. I figured it out. Well done. What's the one after I? After I is J, but we don't know what that stands for. Okay, go ahead. Not quite yet. <laughs> but not we'll definitely take yours into very careful consideration. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you for laughing. That's why I played that clip. I need to do this. <laughs> that was kind of... Um, actually, <laughs> I stands for... Oh, really? Well, because didn't... Because oh was not referring back to... Didn't, didn't he make a, a few weeks ago? He made something yeah, where he, he dismissed... Sure. He was very dismissive of the yeah. of the of the softer things. So he was, he was proving <laughs> his is, knowledge. Like, lead it product out. manager. Hugo is... For Android, yes. Yeah. And, yeah. And, and Hugo did... Uh, followed that with a great presentation yeah. on Ice Cream yeah. Sandwich, uh, which... Pretty much trumped the first time they showed it. Face unlocked work. Everything oh, wow. worked this yeah. time. Yeah, first so, time demo on a tablet, from what I understand. Yes, they yeah, did. Yeah. They did a panorama uh, demo of ICS on the Zoom, mm -hmm. yeah. and so uh, you know that 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 demo went really well. There was like one thing that didn't go well. It was like a widget because the Wi-Fi was kind of right. uh, was, was kind of wonky. Yeah, but, happened, so. uh, yeah there there was uh, I think it was books or something that he wanted to show on a, on a particular widget. But overall, that it clip really was fantastic. Well. Yeah, Thank you. That's amazing. Uh, I, I mean, okay, first of all, they don't know what Jay is. There we go. <laughs> so that we know that. That's <laughs> some breaking that. news. I yeah, really, yeah. That to me was breaking news. Okay, good. Well, because we're, we're guessing, we're guessing it's, because it has to be a generic name. It can't be a brand name. So it's not going to be Jello. I know. It no, might be not, Jelly Bean. That's what I think it's going to be. is a brand too? No, no, Jelly Belly is the brand. Jelly Belly. I think Jelly Bean. I'm just double checking here because I'm fairly new to Android, but the releases haven't followed any alphabetical sequence, right? Yeah, they have. Yeah, they have. Yeah, they have. Yeah, that's what he Honeycomb <laughs> ice cream sandwich. What, yeah. what show is this again? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what Eric was saying. He's like, I okay. figured it out. Yeah, so Froyo. Yes. Gingerbread, Got honeycomb, it. Got ice cream it. sandwich. So the next one is Jay, but they okay. don't know what it is. But so. isn't that really sort of the essence of Eric Schmidt? I just that <laughs> love was great. Yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. I was, on a, I was on a flight with him once from New York, you San Francisco were? and Virgin. Yeah, yeah, oh, okay. yeah, yeah. I don't know. That's the closest I've ever come to him. All right. I walked by him. He was in first class. I All wasn't. Right. You saw him. <laughs> yeah, I saw him. It. And then I kind of wanted to be like, you, hey, hmm, hmm. but I didn't, I didn't, yeah. I, I just, yeah. I let him I be. Well, because it's yeah, like, it was like a 7 a.m. flight, and yeah, it was, yeah, yeah, was yeah, yeah, You didn't yeah. try to do daps with him, like, but What was, hey, it, what was interesting yep. was that he totally got the, he totally got the breeze through security, guy in a suit, escort him to the, and he walked right on the plane before yeah. board. It was a completely mm -hmm. different, like, he wasn't waiting in the terminal, like, they just brought him right on the plane even before we were boarding and everything, and like, he skipped the line, the security line, like, it, oh, when you're worth wow. billions, it's kind of... It, you got, yeah, you yeah, can do that. Yeah. But you yeah. fly Virgin, which I thought was weird. Like when, Maybe you know, he likes it. Don't they have that jet? Well, Google, 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 Google. there's that talk about anyway, the hangar and all yeah, that, sorry. but... Anyway, sorry. Uh, uh, all right, well, there's more content that uh, he talked about, and specifically, two more things. One, about Android versus iPhone. Let's roll that clip. And same with Android, like, yeah, there, there is a lot of comments, and, and we discussed this earlier about, you know, the iPhone having, has taken a lead here. Um, uh, uh, what kind of lead? You tell me. Which lead do you think? Well, I actually say that Android is ahead of the iPhone now. In terms of? Unit volume with ICS features, prices lower, more vendors, 
lower price points. Yeah. Do I need to continue the list? Wow. Dang. Free. Cricket. Cricket. So Android is not inspired by the iPhone. <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> Um, Android was formed, uh, Android was actually founded before the iPhone was. Didn't look exactly, yeah, right. No, 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 look at, use your favorite search engine, do the history. Use your favorite search engine. <laughs> right, hold on, let me pull up Bing real quick. Answer. <laughs> Competition is great. All right. I, I, he just, he totally earned points in my book as far wasn't as I'm concerned. That, wasn't that like rogue like? That was yeah. badass, that was great. I that as was great. awkward as he is, um, mm. I, I I he's totally right. agree with him. I totally he's, agree with he's him. He's right. Uh, Apple may be, they may have the profit size, but, but Android has a market share, and that's yep. what developers yep. are going to go for. And I, I've seen this. I, I'm a recent, I just, I actually just bought this Resound today. This is my Oh, I can't first. wait to hear you talk about Beats soon. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't sound too bad. But, yeah. <laughs> but um, so I've made the switch recently for, for many, many reasons. Yeah. Uh, but mainly is the apps are finally there. It's always mm -hmm. been about the that's apps. That's what we've, right? al we've always butted heads over that. Cause, yeah, because yeah, you've always been like, ah, eh, they're not there yet, they're not yeah. there yet. Yeah, yeah. they're yeah. there now. I, I love yeah. the concept of Android. I've always loved it, but the apps just haven't been there. And, and the apps that were there just weren't all that great. I know, I'm sorry, well, guys. And that's but why... I'm here now. Yeah. And that's why, you know, never. Android uh, owners got the flack of like, well, they never download apps. Well, because there was crap yeah. to download. But now, I can't say that anymore. Yeah. So. Well, well so, so that was great. But does, did he talk about my favorite topic? He did talk about your favorite topic, and that is the next clip. So, so we took Chrome and Android and combined them and stuck them inside of a television. Um, the televisions have a processor and they have DRAM and so forth. They typically don't have a hard drive. And so we were able to figure out a way to sort of download <laughs> software into that architecture using the, um, essentially the languages that Android, that Android and Chrome support. Um, and it looks like it's working. We've just released version 2. And by the summer of 2012, so the pr product cycles are long, the majority of the televisions that you see in the television stores here will have Google TV embedded in it. Again, a similar strategy um, to what we did with Android, the price is free from Google, you will, of course, be paying for the television. Well, you might buy um, a TV producer, a manufacturer, right? Like you bought Motorola. Uh, well, first place, Motorola doesn't make televisions. Um, no, but you could buy another uh, one. That's, as far as I know, that's not ever even been discussed at Google, but you never know. <laughs> uh, we, one day we were talking about getting into the refrigerator business, and then I discovered it was a joke. Well, Motorola is not a joke, right? No, certainly not. Uh, we, uh, what we decided to do is we wanted to have, because of this mobile first that I was discussing, we wanted to have a, a part of the mobile ecosystem, so we made an offer over in roughly August to, to purchase Motorola, which was accepted. It should close in the early part of, of 2012. In my opinion, is it will close. At the moment, they're not owned by Google. We will run them separately uh, to make sure that the Android ecosystem doesn't get changed, because we like the way Android works right now. So all the apps will work on the TV? Yeah, everything will work and so forth. Going pretty, that's going to be awesome. Uh <laughs> I love that we cut to Ron. I'm really, slack -shod. Yeah, Yeah, when he said all the TVs will have Google TV by mid-2012, that's, that's when your mouth went... Well, that is, yeah, the Motorola that's stuff is the cool, thing but... That's he's been getting flack from in the press, by the way. That's six months that's from now. That's bold. That's a bold that's statement. That's six months. You and, can put it in your calendar yeah. after CES. I'm imagining all I guarantee this CES there's going to be a ton of TVs that are going to yeah. have it. Yeah, LG is yeah. announcing something. Samsung yep. is re-announcing yep. something. Yeah, yeah. So. Oh, I love it. I love it. We're, we're, <laughs> both, we're <laughs> both bullish on it, but we're like, I don't know about six months, guys. I like six literally months. like I, my jaw dropped when he said six yeah. months, and that was that. I'm, I'm nobody believes it. Yeah. So okay, six months from now, he said, you just say it from today, right? What's today? The eleventh. The eleventh. Uh, yeah, yeah, he yeah. actually said the, the date. I think he said yeah. by by June. Well, by yeah, he said by mid to twenty twelve. Yeah. yeah. Which is, yeah. So uh, in the chat room, Web four zero eight eight is asking. They're saying, "I love Google TV. Why is it surprising?" Because like, that's really fast. Because yeah. if, because what that means, when, and the thing is, I, I, he's saying that because he has the confidence because he knows what Google's up to. Because doing 
OEM hardware deal. Software in hardware is it's it's a difficult thing because you need to line up the agreements. You need to give the software. You need time for manufacturing to happen, for the boxes to be designed. We saw Boxy stumble in this in this arena when they tried to get right. involved in it. I mean, like yeah. they announced the Boxy box. What was it? Two years ago mm -hmm. at okay. CES, and it, I don't know yeah. many people using it. Quite right, much. exactly. Mao has one. He has yeah. one. Yeah, I have one too, but I never use it. Right. Yeah. I still use it more than no. Actually, at this point, I'm using Google TV more mm. because of uh, something that Ron and I talked about. I, I see it less as a cord cutting box the way boxy boxes, and it's more of a TV wapper. It, yeah. it, it just works better with your existing yeah, TV. Yeah, it works yeah. with your and live I, and TV think, and everything. Yeah, I, and I think great. that's a better stepping it's, stone it's to a TV, acceptance. It's a TV enhancer, basically. Yeah. That's what it is, yeah. But, um, but lining up those deals, getting the, the hardware in place, getting it on shelves, on stores, like mm -hmm. these are all like supply chain is a nightmare. If you ever work, anyone who works in retail or work in product marketing or anything like that, the, we all work online. So I have an idea. I can have it live in, in an hour. I go to Squarespace. I can build a website and it's live in an hour. See that? Oh, that's good. Mm -hmm. wow. but, um, but yeah, so we, we work at such a fast pace, but dealing with real products is hard. And so that means that CES is probably going to have a ton of Google TV information yep. and by summer Google TV is going to be in the market, and then uh, and then <clears throat> we're going to convert one person at a time. That's the plan. We have a plan. We have a plan. As we were talking about no. Battlestar Galactica in the pre-show, we have a plan. I get that reference. Did you notice now. that my sticker here says Cylon? Nice. Well, anyways. Uh, well, there, that was the big stuff That's that cool. uh, Schmidt said at the web, and I really think he kind of stole the show, uh, honestly. He's an awkward guy. Wow. I know. Yeah. Wow. He was yeah. constantly sort of um, interrupting Hugo in his uh, presentation as well. And some people on YouTube thought he was a little condescending, but, you know, whatever. I mean, yeah. he's, oh, yeah. he's one of the bosses. So. That's so cool. So, so cool. So. All right, moving on. on from the web, is that it? All right, so uh, in our update, our weekly update on the Galaxy Nexus release, uh, I feel like What's we need now? we need a break. I thought it was going to be out when yeah, I was well, gone. Yeah, well, so last week when Jason was here, he had the phone. I forget how he actually got his hands on one, but he, he had bought, He bought an unlocked one. He right? bought an unlocked one. Yeah, that's what it was. He got one of the unlocked really? ones. Wow. Leo and got then, his today, by the way. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. so he'll be parading it oh, cool. <laughs> throughout the week. Oh, I yeah. can't wait to see it. Yeah. Um, but so there were rumors, I think it was, was it last week that they would go on sale at Verizon right. on Friday? That didn't happen. And now it's this Friday. And now it's this Friday. Day, but actually, um, some lucky folks who stumbled upon the right place at the right time were yeah. able to get their hands on it um, uh, through Best Buy a little earlier than everyone else. Yeah, who got so, fired over that? Like, actually, yeah. I think that's one of the stories. They, they texted some of the customers saying, please bring it back or the person who sold oh, it to you will get fired. That's awful. No that's way. heartbreaking. That's, that like, really? that's like Ryan Murphy that's level heartbreak. Yeah. Heartbreaking because I would have said, no, I'm sorry. I'm keeping Yeah, no, the it's phone. mine. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm going to get know. it in a week or so anyway. Yeah. Would you return mm -hmm. the phone? No. No, no. So you're not going to fire them. They're not going to fire them. No, yeah, really? that's a threat. That, yeah, that's a threat. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, it had yeah. to have started from above, right? What manager didn't, you know, get give yeah. the memo out? Yeah, that yeah. Kind of it's, thing. yeah. So it was that person's fault, Who not necessarily benefits? the. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but no, I can't imagine they, them go. That HR, they can't. That, you, get, you can leave, you can sue over wrongful termination mm -hmm. in that yeah. regard. That's yeah. like, yeah, I don't know. I don't, I'm not an employment lawyer. I don't know. But, so um, I, I, I walked into Verizon this morning and I actually yeah. asked for it. I Did said, you? Can, can I grab uh, the new Galaxy Nexus? Making me this look life like. Don't, don't be an idiot. Come on. <laughs> Come on. It's like I really saw it did, they the give you, did they give you a date? Did they tell you when? No, they didn't tell they me. They didn't? Yeah. No, no. Interesting. Oh, Interesting. Oh, I got this phone. It's temporary. Uh, the resound. You're going to return the resound. Yeah, I, I figure it's got to happen within 14 days, right? It's got to. Because that's my window. Right. <laughs> what oh, happens if not? Oh, you're going to get stuck with the beats. I get stuck with the beats. And oh, if not, man. and I return it anyways. And yeah. 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 All right. the wow, I like your gambling. That's nice. Yeah. Gambling, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's All right. I can't. Honestly, there. I can't believe it's out yet. I mean, the ho I mean, oh, sorry. The holiday yeah. clock is ticking. It should be out already. Yeah. But yeah. there's a lot of talk about now. You know, I think you guys may have talked about it last week about it not having Google Wallet, but maybe they wanted to have Google Wallet. Yep. Maybe with all those volume rocker issues that the UK had, maybe there's some stuff that they're kind of figuring it out at the last minute. Mm -hmm. Who knows what's going on? But yeah, it's kind of like okay, Canada got it. Hello, we'd love to get it too. Yeah, I know. It's a rare, rare opportunity of Canada edging us out. Well, they edged uh. us out on the Samsung Galaxy S2, yeah. as yeah. did the rest of the world. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. it's just the same thing all over again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyways. Anyway. Anywho, um, victory. <laughs> You're declaring victory. <laughs> is mine, <laughs> says Samsung to Apple. Uh, you guys have probably been following this case a little bit, but uh, uh, Samsung will be selling its Galaxy Tab 10.1 tablet in Australia, finally. I don't wow. know if you guys heard it was being blocked because of, uh, well, because of the whole Samsung versus Patents. Apple battle yeah. that's yeah. Been, been, been happening. Um, this is, a, I, I don't know, pretty big victory for Samsung. Um, I don't know. What do you guys think? 
Well, I'm glad that they get to buy it, and um, it's yeah. about time. They, yeah. they, they know it, by the way, in time for Christmas. Just mm -hmm. in time for Just Christmas. Just in time for Christmas. Yeah. Yeah. Because that's an, actually, that, that's a big, big deal. Because well, this is the most wonderful time of the year. Yeah, yeah. of course. <laughs> it's the most. Uh, it says, three-judge panel dismissed Apple's application for special leave to appeal a federal court decision overturning a ban on the sale of the Samsung product. Uh, and this ban dates all the way back to October Oh, there it is. Yeah. Enjoy, everybody. Yeah. Enjoy that in is, Australia. That is mighty iPad looking. It is. It is. Yeah. Yeah, we, yeah. But whatever. What I'm are you going to do? Yeah. From a distance, I don't know if I would be able to tell the difference. Well, when you start playing with it, you will. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, honestly. But, uh, well, congrats to Australia. This is still rocking the honeycomb, right? Yes. All right. Well, uh, let's go ahead and give thanks to our first sponsor, which is Ford. Ford.com slash technology is the website that you should go to. All About Android is brought to you by Ford, featuring available voice-activated sync. Sync gives you versatile access to music, podcasts, and more from just about any device. Check it out. Uh, the new 2012 Ford Focus, and again on the site, Ford.com slash technology. I'm really excited. There's going to be a bunch of Ford cars here for the next couple of days. Cool. And so I'm going to, there's like four different models. I can't remember all four. We're going to be driving them around and, nice. you know, kind of shoot having some fun and shoot some stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it'll be fun. But Sync's, um, I'm really excited to try Sync. And, you know, you have access in, to music and podcasts from all your devices. Uh, and you'll have Sync with My Ford Touch. Um, you can play videos or display photos from your cameras and things like that. It's going to be Sounds it's, like a pretty it, cool. It's the wired car. connections that gets me about it, like the USB ports and the RCA jacks. Mm -hmm. Like that's that really like, cool. cause, yeah, because that's the stuff that like I'm. I, I was driving my car back in New York, and like I've got the cassette thing with the with the mic jack, yeah, and it's, it's like yeah. it's all those wires and stuff. But this is just like, and I got and I got a zip car and I got a mini, and I need to charge my phone, mm -hmm. and they have a USB jack, and I plugged it in, but there's no, it's not a powered USB jack, so I yeah. couldn't charge and didn't do. Yeah, so here you go. This I've been is... driving the new Focus around, and I gotta say, it works uh, way better on Android than it does on iPhone. Oh, oh really? really? Yeah, that's okay. cool. It's good to know. All right. Good to know. Well, um, again, uh, check out Sing's versatile entertainment features uh, available on the 2012 Ford Focus. You can learn more about this and other technologies Ford is bringing to its vehicles at Ford.com slash technology. And we thank them for their support on All About Android. All right. Hey, Chad, it's time for hardware. So... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The moment home I've been from waiting for. France <laughs> and got the uh, Logitech review update. Finally. Finally and happened. It's funny because I came home on Saturday. And I, I said to my husband, Tom, I said, okay, did we get the update? He's like, oh, I tried on Friday and uh, we didn't you, get it yet. I love that you came home and you're like, oh, I'm home from France. Did, <laughs> did we, we get, get the, the Google update? TV update? It's like, it's and so <laughs> by the way, was, hello. Yeah, by the way, hello. <laughs> Missed you. And, and so he said, well, I checked on Friday. We didn't get it. I said, all right, well, I'm going to go. I turned on the television, turned on the Google TV, and it was yeah. waiting for me. It's yeah. a system right. update. So I had the same thing. Saturday Saturday morning, I woke up to many of you in the audience. Thank you for alerting me to mm -hmm. the fact that the review started getting the update, even though I don't have a review. And apparently, <laughs> yeah, but, but I appreciate so I was able to let everyone else know. I said, hey, review owners, go check out, you know, mm -hmm. glad you got the update. So, so yeah. you got it. So um, it took just a few minutes to update. Mm -hmm. And it was a little wonky at first because it didn't recognize my account. And right. so when I got to the uh, marketplace, it kept saying not compatible. But then I just kind of left that app and then went back in and did a well, few that, things. That, that was, it, yeah. I don't know why it wasn't really automatic. And then finally it popped up and showed my email and Tom's email. And then I was able to click mine for... Mm -hmm you know, to, to be the main account for the marketplace. And then it all worked. And yeah. so we downloaded, you know. The syncing does take a little bit. I mean, I ran at that with Google Music when I synced yes. my account to Google Music. And like yes. and the initial kind of out of the box. But once it gets all up and running, I did know um, Mark B on Twitter, my friend Mark, um, mm -hmm. he, he, he got it. And he's like, yeah, it'd be great, except that none of the apps are showing compatible. Showing that they're compatible. And and then I, I, I looked at it. I'm like, well, they should they should be. But I guess it was a glitch over the weekend. I think it's been corrected, but like they didn't have the review. The uh, the device ID is the review wasn't coming up as compatible oh. for the Google TV apps. So I don't know if that's something on the marketplace that needed the change and the fact that it rolled out on a Saturday okay. or the fact that developers need to change it. But I think it might be up to date now. I mean, if you were downloading apps, then it must have been fixed by now. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. yeah. So, it was definitely yeah. fixed. Now, yeah. did you have to start from scratch? Did you have to reset up your TV? Do you use your yeah, TV Yeah, we it? did. I had to reset everything. I had to reset Netflix. I had to reset Amazon. A little disappointed with the Amazon video app because it just, 
just takes you to the uh, that, website. I said, that's what I said. I was, yeah, yeah I was kind of annoyed. Like, yeah, what's yeah. That? This because they're, be they're, using the, they're using the the browser player. They're using yeah, the HTML5 player. Like which, yeah, it I know. Because standal- on Kindle Fire, it's standalone, so yeah. it should be standalone. Um, the pictures, like you said, oh, it automatically. Isn't that cool? That was so cool. I was telling my pictures while I was on, the drive. on Picasa yeah. Yeah. and Google Plus just kind of like load up. They can, you can link yeah, the Flickr. Yeah, I didn't link my Flickr. I'm not a picture kind of guy on my TV, but I appreciate how awesome it is. No, it was. I didn't realize how much I'd like it. I love the TV movies app. And being able to see live TV, and, and, and uh, we hooked up our direct TV on it so you could see what exactly is live, and then it categorizes in genre, cool. which is very cool. And then it'll you tell the you when you do, mm-hmm. no, no, there's an app called TV Movies. And yeah. when oh, you yes, load yes, it up, yes, yes. then it's like. It tells like, you how many minutes are yeah, left. Yeah, how many yeah. minutes are left. That's yeah. cool. It's like, oh, oh it's 20 minutes. It's, it's funny minutes because, like because I don't have cable, you guys have a completely different experience than what I have. Because like, yeah. I'm not watching it with live TV. So I'm actually surprised how much you love it, considering I think it's way better. With TV yeah. attached to it, yeah. and uh, our first experience putting Directv through it, the the picture quality was not so good. But this time around, it's it's pretty nice yeah. actually. I really like it. And um, one of the apps that I downloaded, um, I downloaded the Classy Fireplace video. Ah, Chad, yeah, can we, yeah, show we, that we talked about quick? that. <laughs> there it is. Oh, hold on for a second. It sounds like porno music, doesn't it? It's so weird. I really need, again, okay, so here's my challenge to the community out there. Anybody who's an Android developer, I want a Yule Log app. Yeah, I want an I app that shows app the too. classic Yule log that WPIX in New York City plays. It's an old 1950, uh, mm-hmm. 1960s shot of a Yule log, and it zooms in and out, and it plays Christmas music. I want that app. That, so if someone that develops fireplace that. fireplace app needs an update. Yeah. To, that, but if, this is the seasonal one. Right. If yeah. somebody develops that app, I will back you and help promote it, and we'll make lots of money. Let's do that. Let's do it. Um, but, yeah, no, I spent all Sunday with it, and uh, overall, I'm liking the experience yeah. so far. Yeah. yeah, it's pretty good. I downloaded Plex, so yeah. I have to download it on my phone. You have to do the that. server. Yeah, and all I have stuff. to do all yeah, that yeah, stuff. Yeah, but, yeah. Um, cool. Well, Welcome to the yeah, world. Welcome thank to you. welcome I'm every very welcome to you and everyone who got it from the review. I'm excited mm-hmm. now. Just hope, now let's just hope the app start. We were talking about on the drive up how how it's it's yeah, still we need more apps. it's early in the app. I, app I'm, I'm, I'm disappointed that that fireplace app is still featured on the front page. Of <laughs> no, yeah. It's time to move on, guys. Yeah. Let's come on. Let's make anyway. it happen. APIs out. Um, <laughs> so in other uh, interesting hardware news, um, so we're seeing uh, ports of ice cream sandwich coming out uh, and appearing on the Kindle Fire. Um, what we've got is we've got the uh, X, uh, an XDA developers forum member has been kind enough to offer up the shot that we see here on the screen that was up on Engadget of the ice cream sandwich running on the Kindle Fire. Uh, which is, and there's a little video here that goes along with it as well. So we're starting to see the Kindle Fire get hacked as well as Ice Cream Sandwich uh, ports come out. So, Ooh, look at um, that. Yeah. If you're watching the video, you can see the slide yeah. ring and everything. Mm-hmm. Yep. I'm not going to jailbreak mine or, um, yeah. or root it yet. But you um, can. I know there are a lot of questions as to whether or not you can and also whether you can get Ice Cream Sandwich, and apparently and you, you can. can. And I believe it's the... Um, uh, no, it's, it's, so it's appearing next to Cyanogen Mod Seven. So this is so this is something different Ooh. than Cyanogen Mod. But it's right. gonna they're gonna start coming fast and furious. Yeah. So, right. yeah. The hardware acceleration on that seemed okay, but I I'm skeptical of of, of full fledged operating systems being on on these really, you know, the two it's a two hundred dollar tablet. It's yeah. not gonna be as good just, as it's doesn't not, no, doesn't yeah. matter. No, it doesn't matter. No, it, yeah. because people <laughs> want that experience. But I think right. you're gonna have a better as limited as as the existing operating system is. You're just gonna have a better time using it. Just because it works better through the through the modified UI and the custom the oh, Amazon UI or no, no, through no, the, the, through not, the not, not throwing um, oh okay so rip, stripping that out and then doing a, yeah no I agree it's, I totally it's agree. a fun hacker yeah. hobby thing that's yeah. that's the way I see it I, I you know we jo- I jailbreak my iPhone all the time I'm gonna root this if I have time to if I can I'm not yeah. sure if I can well be careful if you only as a it. <laughs> only as a hobbyist though I don't plan yeah. on keeping so, yeah so um, and then over uh, over across the street from Amazon Kindle Fire the Barnes and Noble Nook Color got an update and 1.4.1 update and it added Netflix uh, landscape reading and actually Barnes and Noble's comics. Uh, so it's kind of like the tablet now. It's, it's kind of like the Nook tablet. It, it's pretty much point to point for kin, uh, yeah. for the Kindle Fire at this point, uh, and uh, between the Kindle Fire and to the um, and to the Nook tablet with the Nook Color. Um, so now, if you didn't get the Nook tablet, if you had a Nook Color, you're worried about falling behind. You're right, caught up. So yeah. mm-hmm. um, it's pretty cool stuff. I'm I'm excited. I was hanging out with your developer over the weekend, yeah. and he was showing us uh, 
the Nook. Are, are you guys? Do you guys like that that hardware? Do you guys oh, like that it. form factor? Yeah, love it. Yeah, no, I, I'm, I'm I've been very pro it on even on the show. I think the, I think yeah. the Nook uh, tablet is a nice nice device and it's um, great to develop for over graphically. We're doing comics apps and stuff like that for it. And um, I, honestly, I think it edges out the Kindle Fire a little bit in terms of because I because I've talked about it, a in performance, but also I think that there's a certain and we've talked about it before that there's a certain something to the design of the of the bezel itself to the hardware itself yeah. that dumb hook and all that sort of stuff it gives it a little more character mm -hmm. than the anonymous Amazon Kindle in the play on the playbook hardware it's just a black brick you know with a little bit of the Kindle thing behind it I just think that the nook edges it slightly yeah so that's me personally who knows who knows if I know what I'm talking about I don't think I do you sound good thank you good. <laughs> <laughs> so interesting to see uh, updates on those platforms though so, yeah. yeah well uh, speaking of uh, little bricks that look like every other tablet out there. The Toshiba is launching a 7-inch Android, Android Thrive tablet. Um, I actually am a big fan of the form factor, like we were saying, the 7-inch. Oh, you like 7, yeah. I do like 7. Um, I, I'm, I'm looking at the Samsung, not the Samsung, the, um, the Note. Oh, the I, Note. I, I was considering yes. the Note. Yeah. But I think if, I were, if, I, if I'm going to do this form factor, I, I'm probably going to keep the phone and the tablet separate. And yeah. Get rid of the iPad, go a little bit smaller, and I think 7-inch is actually... A really good form factor. Okay. No hook on this device, though, Ron. <laughs> I know. Where, where are you going to put your carabiner on? I know. That's the, yeah. that's the problem. Man, I can't look into my, <laughs> my keys. Yeah, 379 um, for the 16 gig. Yeah. Um, 429 for the 32 gig model. Uh, I don't know. I'm not in the market for this, but uh, it sounds like you might be. Um, I, I might be. I might be. Just because I, I, I wanted to get the Kindle Fire because of the form factor, above yeah. all. But I do want... The OS uh, performance. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I want a, a good good piece of hardware. This, this one's th gonna, this, yeah. You know, three three seventy nine, four twenty nine um, dollars, th four twenty nine for the thirty two gig. Um, it's still priced a little above what I want to pay. Of That's course, the but problem just, with some I've of these bought, tablets. You know, yeah. it's like how about two ninety nine? You know, yeah. let, let, let's good. cut it a little bit more. Then maybe I'd look into it um, or or think about it. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, I you know paid two ninety nine for this, so. Mm -hmm. Should we, pay, should we be paying more for a tablet? Right, no. you get you get at least three more inches on that one. <laughs> on a tablet, if you bought that yeah. instead of the yeah, tablet. So yeah. Yeah. yeah, no, I mean, it's smaller yeah. than by, by three inches. But, but, yeah. but it, does that, so yes, this is also a phone. Is this more valuable than more screen space on a tablet? I know it's yeah. apples and oranges, but... it's yeah. a good question. I don't know. I don't have the answers. I Sorry. don't either. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> I think the phone is more valuable. Well, there, there you I go. agree. I totally agree. <clears throat> Okay, uh, let's move on to one quick email I wanted to read here from Chandler, who just said, speaking of tablets here, uh, he says, I just wanted to share with you something that made me smile. I'm a high school student and part of the local key club at my high school. Last week, doctors discovered a tumor on the brainstem of my club's president. He went through surgery to remove the tumor, and it was mostly successful. However, he will still be in the hospital for a while, so my club decided that we wanted to get him something to make his time in the hospital more bearable. We unanimous, unanimously decided to get him a tablet. But we didn't have a lot of money to um, to throw around. I bought I brought up the Kindle Fire, and at first it wasn't warmly it wasn't a warmly taken idea because of the concept of it being an e-reader plus and not a quote unquote tablet. But after explanation and the low price definitely helped, we chose to get him one. We bought it and gave it to him that day in the hospital, and oh. he loved it. Now his time in the hospital is that much more bearable. I just wanted to say thank you Amazon for creating such a low cost yet high quality option, and thank you AAA for being my weekly informer about this kind of stuff. I wouldn't have been able to suggest it had I not learned about it through your podcast. Oh, that's awesome! That's awesome. I'm I mean, the champion I mean, yeah, of the Kindle yeah, Fire. I'm glad yeah. you uh, enjoy it. I'm glad um, he enjoyed it as well. So mm -hmm. good to know that he's doing well. So Excellent. thanks, Chandler. Appreciate right, it. Now. Okay, let's move on to apps. All right, now before uh, I talk about two big updates to two big uh, apps that I think a lot of us use here. And, yes. uh, let's talk about breaking down the most used Android apps by age and demographic. There's a demographic here. It seems like 18 to 24, 25 to 34, and 35 to 44 all use the Android market and Facebook. <laughs> That's like the top app. Look at that. Look at that. And then 18 to 24 uses Google Search uh, as the third, but then 25 to 34 all use Gmail. I mean, it's all kind of the basic I mean, ones, right? I could, Facebook, I, ser Facebook Search, Gmail, Maps, I YouTube. I almost would have wanted to Angry not Facebook. see this and then say, okay, guess what the top five apps that are yeah. used. Yeah. Yeah. Irregardless, of, irregardless of, of demo. I mean, because if you look at the demo, I mean, basically what this shows me is that regardless of how old people are, they're all using the same apps pretty yeah. much. Yeah. It shows that I'm basically somewhere between 18 and 44 years old. Yeah. They're yeah. all. Yeah. 
Angry Birds is still... I mean, a lot of these are just... People know about these. These have been used for yeah. a long, long, long time. Oh, but look at Amazon App Store for 35 to 44 is I find is up I there. find it really interesting to see. To, I want to look at the low-end side of things. Like, Yahoo. Like, like Weather the, Channel. The fact that 16% of 18 to 24-year-olds are using Adobe Reader. Oh, okay, they're yeah. They're reading PDFs? Like, what are they doing there? Like, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. They're, Yahoo they're, Mail. They're probably see? torrenting their books. I used to make right, fun of myself right. because yeah. of still having a Yahoo Mail account, but yeah. I, I yeah. do have one. You and 13% of other people. Yeah. Uh, Look at Words everywhere. of Friends. What a powerhouse, man, Words of Friends. Yeah. yeah. So. Well, as Alec Baldwin said. As Alec Baldwin was going to test <laughs> Captain Steve Rogers. Yes. Okay, well... First of all, uh, Twitter for Android got a big update. I've got it here now. Well, I got it first. I mean, this kind of spreads a little more into it. So Twitter did a major update across the whole platform. Yeah. It's new, new Twitter yeah. and the web and the um, the, yes, I, I, the iPhone app and the Android. I have to admit, I was very impressed to see the coordinated release of it. Like that was, I mean, Twitter as a company, they've kind of stumbled in terms of releases mm -hmm. across platforms and stuff like that. This was great to see. Like as soon as I heard about it, I had the new app on my phone. I just got the web, uh, the web update today. I really like what they've done. I, really like I love the Android app, yeah. and I didn't realize that they had already added uh, multiple accounts right? because uh, I had stopped using it for a while. But, oh, yeah, you know, that's, been, that's the been there for a while. Yeah, yeah, so it's got the pull to refresh. It Look at it. It, it. it runs really fast for me. I mean, it looks a little bit different because the DMs aren't here. If you want to go to direct messages, complaint. you have to go yeah. into me, and then it's hard to find lists. And then I'm trying to look for my favorites. It's a little hard that's sometimes. Then you have to go into your account. Or to your profile, and then you find favorites. It's a little, yeah. it's kind of a pain. That, that's my but, one. That's my one complaint is that they bury DMs for some reason. That's something I use yeah, a lot. Like yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, I think so too. Yeah. Who knows? They might change it back. I'm not. I don't really know about this discover tab here. I love it. You I love, love it. it. We were, I love it. Yeah. I, I've never I been a fan know. of trends because they've never featured it. So the trends were never really relevant to, at least not relevant to me. Yep. Now that they're featuring it, it's actually, it has some great information on there. Plus also there's some level of uh, specification going on because I pulled up the, the Discover tab mm -hmm. and the first story for me was about the new creative team on Astonishing X-Men, which got announced earlier today. Mm -hmm. Like talk about, like that's la laser focused to what my yeah. interests are, yeah. you know, so. And, and more than anything, I, th I think this is Twitter's opportunity to... Uh, properly implement uh, sponsorships because yep. they can't yes. do it they, sh they can't and should it and shouldn't do it in your feed yep. they can do it in trends they yep, can exactly. do it in discovery God, yep. i have fear factor Ugh. Like, i actually find myself go scrolling through the trends this is scrolling through the discovery to see what people are talking well, about well i have to say there was a lot of uh bitching and moaning on the ios side i love the android app yeah this is well, I've, 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 oh, I'm what's the bitching and moaning? This bitch they don't like this new app well because they have better apps Quite honestly, well, sorry, the, no, but they there's, do. There's I, I tweeted uh, at this a couple of days ago, and it, it's really kind of like people are complaining about the new Gmail interface because the Gmail oh, flipped yeah. the switch on that. People are complaining about the new Twitter. People are complaining about the new whatever, whatever change. they're complaining about. Yeah, it's Guess change. What? change. Change. You really think that very smart people at all these companies get paid a lot of money are just like, let's just change it for the sake of changing it. <laughs> yeah. There's actually a lot of thought and testing and user testing that goes into it. And uh, I think sometimes the users, because they fear change, mm -hmm. give it the short shrift. I think that yeah. they, you need to be patient. You might, you might like it. I, and I for, I, for one, I get excited when I see change because I want to figure it out. It's like a game. And yeah. I love the new Gmail. I love the new Twitter. You know, it's, I think it's all good. Well, I'm going to be using that. That's actually going to be my new uh, app for yeah. Twitter on Android. What, have been, the official. what were you using before this? Uh, Uber. And then, uh, yeah, it was uh, Tweet. Oh, God, I can't remember the name. It, got, it died. And then it became Uber. Okay, so that's yeah, what yeah, I was yeah. using. Yeah. Uh, okay, and also one more update. Facebook uh, updated their app last week. No, I haven't seen it yet, and I just installed it. Oh, it is fantastic. <laughs> so I don't know if we want a live reaction or not. Yeah, but you I want a live know. reaction? Yeah, go to Ron here. I'm let gonna, me show I'm you really open quick. It now. Uh, let me show you really quick. But it looks like this. So you oh, the so it's like the iPad app. Bar. Yep, it's like yeah. the iPad app, which yeah. is great. It's about time. I'm I not surprised. actually really, really <laughs> like this. It's smoother. Uh, you know, it's more in line with the other OSs. And it's actually the mobile, the mobile web, the mobile web version works very similar to this now. If you yeah. go to m.facebook.com and you see that little left hand, thing. I do, I do like the changes that Facebook's been doing. Yeah. So yeah. I, uh, congrats to them. It's just a smoother yeah. interface. The UI looks better. Uh, and, uh, I like it quite And this a goes bit. back to the concept of it's all about the apps. The, yeah. the, the interfaces, the UIs are getting so good on yeah. Android now. 
Yeah. Yep. Did something change? I mean, I'm not a developer, Ron. You, you might have more insight on this, but did something change in the API, API recently? Not that, that I'm aware of. Okay. I mean, yeah. No, people are just getting good. People, people just more getting passionate just about it. Passionate. Well, and I think with more phones, is like Eric Schmidt said, you know, yeah. who's got the market share? Well, you might want to start developing the apps for that. Plus, too. Al plus yeah. also, um, last week, Jason Applebaum showed us that uh, with Ice Cream Sandwich, there are a lot of improved developer tools now. Like, actually, now you can, um, you can when you're working with an app, you can turn on your the touch and swipe trail so mm -hmm. you can get a lot more specific as to where the touch points are in the app because mm -hmm. up to this point okay. it's been guessing it's like you're guessing xy coordinates and now you can see what the lot you can get the xy coordinates of where you're touching on the screen right there are a lot more tools that are actually available in developer mode on the phone to help you develop better apps so yeah. that could be a part of it as okay. well so um but yeah no there, it's, it's getting critical mass and and to that point actually um the android marketplace is celebrating 10 billion downloads um, and, and doing that for a limited time, they're offering 10 cent apps. Okay. So to celebrate that on the Android Marketplace, you can get um, beautiful widgets or Doodle Jump. I remember Every I was, day it changes yeah, too. Yeah. So you want. So they're t they're tying into the Amazon thing. They've seen the yeah. success that Amazon's doing. Mm -hmm. So you definitely want to go check out the Android Market every day to see what the apps are today on December 11th. These are the ones that we're looking at: SoundHound and Blow Up and Flight Control. These are all great apps. I downloaded um, Jenga the other day. I thought of you. It's fun. I right? downloaded yeah. Captain America. I thought oh, of yeah, you. I you downloaded go. all these apps and I thought of you, Ron. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There were 10 cents. You often. Yeah. <laughs> so sweet. So, um, so yeah, so it's pretty interesting. And so, um, and also over on the Android Developers blog, they're asking the question of what you know, what have you downloaded? And they kind of give some stats on, on uh, the the 10 million downloads and counting that are coming. Um, similar to, and it shows a little nice little graph there showing the growth, similar to the the yeah. infographic that we saw earlier. Yeah. And you just look at it take off. I mean, it's it's the last six months mm -hmm. alone. Look at that. The, you see, this people in product life cycle, this is what we call critical mass. Yeah, We're watching it happen. Four point five yeah. million billion in May, and then ten billion. In December, yeah. kudos. 2012 cool. is going to be pretty amazing. I yeah. think so too. Wow. Did you guys download any of those? Uh, <laughs> no. Yeah, a lot. <laughs> Come on. I did. Yeah. <laughs> All right. The number uh, I've downloaded are insane. Uh, on the uh, tablet side of things, we've got Google Currents, um, and this is actually pretty awesome because <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm happy that it actually came out on Android too. I saw Google yeah. catalogs come out uh, for iOS it's and finally not out. Android. It's finally it's out. It's finally out. Yeah. yeah. So I was just wondering what was happening there. But this, uh, if you're a Flipboard fan, you're going to be pretty familiar with this interface. Um, it's basically an aggregator, and it really. Oh, where are we here? Here we go. Sorry, guys. I'm the new guy in town. <laughs> new newbie. Um, so it comes it comes preloaded with uh, a few. Um, uh, editorial pieces like uh, 500 Picks, The Daily Beast, Fast Company, um, and it's basically sort of a replace, a really nice replacement, I think, for an RSS feed. Yeah. Um, basically, this is this is how I read all my content now, as opposed mm -hmm. to you know, you should use Reader and just click on things one at a time. Um, just beautiful interface. Um, looking at some photography stuff here. Um, it, just great. It's it's it's. I, I mean, I, I love the I love the you taking RSS and repurposing content in a more magazine yeah. or you know visual style. I mean, I'm a huge Flipboard fan on the iPad. Um, and How do you this, think this um, compares? I don't really use Flipboard so much. I mean, it's okay. I think Flipboard is still. I'll be, I'll be honest. Like part of the reason why I have an iPad is for, 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 for Flipboard. Flipboard. Yeah. It is. yeah. I wonder if that'll ever come to. Uh, this is this is a contender. I'm going to try it using it. It is a contender. It. Yeah. Yeah. But it, uh, the little that I have used, and I, eventually this. I'm sure ports to, of of your own Twitter stream and yeah. all of that will end up on here too. I want to see more. Well, there's one. There's like there's an app, that, that tap to app, which um which I'm just waiting to throw in arena. Maybe yeah. next week I'll do it. But that's one. Um, but I'm waiting to see like a, like AOL has that editions magazine. Yeah, yeah. Like I'm waiting to see Stuff Android like get more magazine-y kind of content mm -hmm. in this regard. Yeah. So I gotta say this is a, a little bit cleaner experience than Flipboard. Uh, Flipboard has really nice animations. Yeah. Yeah, that's um, true. Like page turning and stuff like this, but. Um, I actually like this UI a little better. Okay. Um, it's simple. You you get things. It's I love not. Cool hunting. There's actually a really interesting article uh, re recently. I forget where it was about condescending UI des design. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys read this? No, yeah. I haven't it's, read it's, it. It's phenomenal. It's fantastic. Okay. And I feel flip. I feel like Flipboard does that sometimes. Not nearly as much as other applications, but um, this is this is giving you the benefit of the doubt a little bit more. Yeah. Um, yeah, I can't wait to play around with it a little bit more. I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm totally gonna play with it. it. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna throw but, it, on my uh, it looks good so far. Okay. I know there's a lot of Flipboard, you know, fanatics are like, ah, this is not gonna replace Flipboard. Yeah. Well, it may, and, it may and not need to. It. Yeah. And it's a companion. <laughs> you know, it's for other people who don't have an iPad. Bell Gorm in the chat room also mentions uh, Currents on the Kindle, uh, Kindle Fire for Kindle Fire user. Currents is a different, uh, is an app that can do that as well. So you might want to check oh, that one out. Oh, I haven't. I yeah. didn't know about yeah. that. Thank you very yeah, much. You I'll check that out. So cool. cool. 
Awesome. So uh, on to an email. We got to another email from uh, from our friend Craig who wrote in saying um, thanking us because our show continues to deliver good stuff week in week. So you're welcome. Thank you, Craig. Um, and Craig just wanted to pass along an app that he recently found. Uh, for a long time, I've wanted to take screenshots from my phone, but I didn't want to root it. Yeah. Uh, and as we know, it's one thing that you can't do on the Android phone. You can't take screenshots easily without the dev kit on their desktop and all that sort of stuff. Yeah. I'm sure, Marisa, you, you've Oh, I shared. remember this. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, so he actually found a, a great app called No Root Screenshot It. Um, which is available in the marketplace and allows you to take screenshots. I believe you'll be able to take screenshots with ice cream sandwich. Yeah, yeah, the, so, yeah you will. I yeah. mean, a lot of the phones are starting to finally. See, here's that whole. I, I don't know how many times I say finally yeah. on this show. <laughs> finally, yeah. but screenshots are are coming. It, it they're coming, and I like to use them even if it's just sending it to you, Ron. Like, yep. oh, did you share this on my phone? Right, exactly. I mean, it's not just necessarily because we do a show. It's right. just you know we like to share. No, stuff some I know, and, and how often? I mean, some I mean friends. I, I'm kind of jealous of my iOS friends because they'll they'll take a screenshot of a text message conversation yeah, and send it to me. Right. Like I can't do that easily. So this is a great app if you're on a phone that's that's not going to get ice cream sandwich for a while or one that that doesn't support it. Totally download this app. This this one you'll have a lot of fun with it. If you are on a phone, if you're getting a new phone, or you can get one that gets ice cream sandwich, you won't need this app anymore because it'll be available natively. But it's good to know that there are options. So thank you, Craig, for passing that along and keep these recommendations coming yeah. in. Keep emailing us. I don't know the email address, but I would tell you to email us <laughs> at uh, email us at um, uh, that's a a at twit tv. So it's always good to hear from everybody. So you remember that one? That's great. <laughs> okay. I know. Do you know how many emails I need to remember? I like oh. God. Or send us. A Voice Bill 347 Show AAA. Yes. Uh, or it's at right Reply there. Us yeah. on Twitter at there Android Show. Yes. All right, let's take a little break here to thank our second sponsor, which is Netflix. Netflix streams thousands of TV episodes and movies directly to you instantly, which means you save time, money, and hassle. There are several easy ways to instantly access streaming movies and TV shows with Netflix. You can watch Netflix movies and TV shows on your Mac or PC or your honeycomb tablet. I should. Uh, <laughs> your honeycomb. Your honeycomb. You got your honeycomb here. I do, like the new, the, I do like the tablet. Uh, the tablet on Netflix. version, yeah, I do it's too. Very cool. Yep. I really do. And um, we were talking about what is available on Netflix. Risa, you might want to try Battlestar Galactica. The, uh, the other series that is on Netflix. Try the miniseries first. That's yeah, a good series. I've been you, shamed. I, I shouldn't have said that. It. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, also, uh, you know, you can uh, watch. God, you can watch Netflix anywhere. It's kind you of know, awesome. Roku, Xbox, 360, PS3, Nintendo, Wii. You know what the greatest um, thing about Netflix? See, look, I'm watching Gossip Girl. Hello. Nice. Thing. The greatest thing about Netflix is the resume function. That's the one. Yes, so I'll go to the gym with my resume. tablet, and I'll start. I'll be watching thirty something, and I'll stop halfway through, and I'll go home, and I'll pull up the Google TV app, and it'll remember where I left off. And Such then a Ron show. That's awesome. I love thirty something. I've been watching thirty something in Voltron. I've been watching the original eighties Voltron. See, so. okay. Battlestar cool. Galactica yeah. season yeah. one through all the seventy six episodes. Yep. Got to catch up. Oh, here. that's too many. No, it's to no, totally, it's totally worth it. It's no, totally it's worth totally it. Worth okay. it. See, right. and then start, see, this is what he means. When you look at Battlestar Galactica, then in oh yeah, so it's right there. So it's, the yeah. miniseries part one and two is oh, it tells right you. here. Yeah, so just yeah, yeah, that's what it starts. The series starts with the miniseries, and Fantastic. then it gets into the actual you know episodes. Once you recognize the greatness of Edward James, almost Edward James, almost yeah. you'll never be able to go back. I got a chance so to say it once, and I just yeah. I, my question was, did you make up the language in Blade Runner, or was it scripted? <laughs> that was my one question. What did he say? He says, oh, I just made it up. I know a little German. I know a little oh, Spanish. So I just, you know, just mishmash. He's amazing. Yeah. He's honestly, yeah. he's amazing. Yeah. He's, he's, it was great because, oh, I'll tell Nat. Okay. But uh, anyway, go on. <laughs> well, uh, again, Netflix, we want to thank them for sponsoring uh, All About Android. Go to netflix.com slash twit and try Netflix today for 30 days free. Be sure to use this URL when you sign up for the free trial. And we, again, we'd like to thank them for them for their support of twit and All About Android. Yeah. I love watching instantly. After the show, I'll tell my Edward James almost uh, anecdote. All right. So people in the chat okay. room stick around. All right. Cool. It's a reason to watch live. <laughs> All right. Well, let's uh, let's hover into the arena. To enter, one lives the Android <laughs> Arena. It looks so, like they both died there. Yeah, they did. No, died. Every, everyone everyone loses in the there, arena. Yeah. That's the problem. But um, okay, so <laughs> last week there was a little controversy about Jason's app. I did side with you. If Thank it you. was really a dollar, it, the, the, it's ninety nine cents. We said we said so. We said a ninety nine. So we we try to mix up the grab yeah. bag, and so we said it's gonna be a ninety nine cent rule. All your apps have to be ninety nine yeah. cents. And Jason went through this long review and all <laughs> stuff like that. And we go to the marketplace, and Jason Applebaum picks up, and he's like, "Wait a minute, dude." He's like, "Your app's a dollar," okay. and I was like, "Busted." Oh, yeah. but then, Okay, but then now I'm really confused because we got a video response from one of our uh, viewers. Let's roll that really quick, Chad. Hey, all about Android crew. I love this show. 
And one of the things I like about the show is the little spirit of competition that you have in the Android arena. And um, y'all gave Jason Howell some uh, trash over his <laughs> app because it was a dollar instead of 99 cents. And um, Jason, I just wanted you to know that I voted for you anyway, even though the app that we're talking about is free. <laughs> oh. So if you install Go Launcher, you can get this ice cream sandwich theme by going to Go Locker ICS theme in the market and get the thing for free. Um, anyway, love the show. And Jason, sorry you got pummeled, but uh, I voted for you. Well, if Thank it's free, you. that's still not 99 See, cents. I know. I'm, so it still doesn't work because it's not 99 cents. And I did I did verify. I went in there. And I, I've used Go Locker before. I'm a Go But girl, we saw so. it on that day. I saw, I saw it. It was a dollar as maybe well. They, maybe they dropped the price since. It's weird. So it's free maybe now. They did. Yeah. Now it's free. Maybe so they heard we, us talking about it. And they're like, yeah. Yeah. make it free. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So the results were very close. I, before you show the results, Chad, I just want to say this is probably the tightest arena yeah. we've ever had. Yeah. with as many votes. And I'm sorry to say that Jason did win the poll, <laughs> but Look how tight by that is. like three votes, but he's disqualified. So, Ron, you win. I will take it. I will take it. I got to disqualify because wow. it wasn't even 99 cents. It wasn't a dollar. Now it's free. I'm confused. Hey, yeah. guys, a pen. I don't, I mean, I'm Go not taking Ron. Go Locker is Jason. a good. Um, You're taking Jason's side? Uh, no, no, I guess I, guess I well, should. Well, here's a question. Do you want to be on the show again? Because you got two votes here. On, on <laughs> Listen, Sorry, Jason. <laughs> I love Go Locker. Go products are my favorite, but you know there were rules here. There, you, we have rules for a reason. Um, <laughs> so I'll take the win. So what is that? Is that two or three weeks in a row did I win? I have no idea anymore. Because I won the Somebody week before. Somebody let us know well. in the chat room. Tech, has, has tech won Ace won will know. What, what is my streak tech now? Ace, it's at least two. Like if three not, maybe times, three. right? Yeah, I'm so. totally the loser in the number of arenas now that. Uh, All have right. Won. So so the new rules are the. Loser goes first. And the you know what? The I lost when I wasn't here yeah. last time, so I should go first yeah. this week. Tech, tech Ace correct. It's two in a row. So I'm, now I have a streak of two in a row. We're going to make it three this week, everybody. Jason, the people's champion? Yeah. Whatever. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cream this. All right. Okay, so, so Eileen, let's, let's start with Eileen. All right. Well, um, I went ahead and found a game that's available on your tablet or your phone. And it's a game that's been out on iOS for a while, but has finally made it over to uh, Android. And I'm very excited to show There's that off. word again, finally. Finally. <laughs> yeah, we say it a How lot, many yeah. times do I say that? <laughs> finally. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's called World of Goo. Uh, oh, look, thank do you, you like for it? the applause. I'm a huge, huge fan of World okay, of Goo. Okay, so basically there's a bunch of goo balls. It's a puzzle game. Mm -hmm. And you have to figure out how to get the goo balls to um, uh, get to the end of the pipeline. So I'm only on chapter one, but it's really fun. And I'm just going to go ahead and start a new... Uh, oh, maybe I should start... A new uh ah! Okay, let me start a new goo slot. So I'll start from the beginning beginning. Okay, again, it's a puzzle game and you've got these goo balls and you have to connect them in such a way that um, gets them to the end of the pipeline and then all the goo balls filter uh, and then you get you get points for, for connecting. So let me let me show you what I mean here. Sorry for those of you who are listening on audio. It's a little bit more difficult to uh, to explain here. But so you see these goo balls that are moving here. They're moving. They're they're kind of alive, and you you just make them. That's you cool. You pull them up, and then you make them go higher. And again, it's like a little puzzle, and you got to be careful because the weight might topple over. Oh, it's kind of like X construct, but kind of. Yeah. 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 Yay! I only needed to collect four, but I got nine, so that's great. So I got extra points there. It gets harder and harder and harder. So some of those goo balls will topple over, and you have to consider weight and, you know, how far over to the left or to the right. you got to balance. Physics. It's all Lots physics. Lots of physics. And yeah, it's not it's always obvious game. what you need to do when, no. when you get to a new level. And that's half no, the fun, trying to figure out what, what the, the challenge is. Yeah, I'm in a level. Um, I've got balloons. I've got some crazy stuff. I can't even remember what this this is. So see, I've got to get it over to this pipeline here. Oh wow! Yeah, but I've got to make sure nothing falls. So I'm just gonna try a little physics here. See how far I can go. How fast I can go without it toppling over so much. That's so cool. This game is $4.99 and ah, the Android nope. Marketplace. See, you got to be careful with the balancing. I'm just rushing here. Uh, I've already passed this level, but I'm just showing you guys. 
quickly. It's four ninety nine in the Android Marketplace, but there is a demo available for free. You might be able to play these levels really quickly to see if you really like it or not, or if you just hate it. And I'm I played this game for the there. first time on a um, on a Wii, so I had to you know point at the screen and, and select oh, the I little guys. It's much much better as it's a touch screen experience. It's much better on a touch screen on a, on a Wii. Absolutely. Interesting. Have you played it on a phone? Um, I have. You okay. kind of need the screen real estate. It's better yeah, on a tablet. Yeah, you do, right? Um, so yeah, this game has won many awards uh, and has uh, you know it's been out again, uh, like I mentioned, for iOS for a while. But uh, it's finally here on Android, and I think it works pretty well. Let me just show you my level here, which I'm stuck at. I'm in the Summer League. Uh, there's two here. Tower of Goo, higher and higher. So basically, what I need to do is get all these goo balls to the very top, and I have to build a really, really high tower. And um, I, I almost got it this afternoon, and then I failed. But you just got to keep going. I feel very... Does it feel very frenetic right now with the music? A little bit. A little bit, right? A little and there it goes. It goes tight. It goes topples. It's got some really cool um, animations and 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 uh, soundtrack. There it goes. Bye. I don't know. It's really fun. I think uh, you can spend hours and hours. There's many many levels to this, uh, and it's really fun. And there's even some like uh, multiplayer capabilities online, playing with other people. Yeah. There's a uh, and, and, and the levels go on and on and on and on. It's, it's really, really fun. And I think it's worth the $4.99. Uh, and, you know, try it out on your phone if you don't have a tablet. And, um, yeah, it's very strategic and a puzzle game, and I really, really enjoy it. So that's cool. World of Goo. Awesome. Marisa, are you ready? So this is a competition, right? Because I'm, yes. I'm yeah. supposed to cheer for... Oh, oh, that World of Goo is horrible. Yeah, screw <laughs> that. No, don't, don't yeah, download yeah, it. It's, yeah, it's yeah. a horrible, horrible game. Whatever. How much is it? It's five dollars. <laughs> Whatever. It's what you pay for? Let what me tell you that. Never. You get the experience of a wonderful game. Five dollars. That's like a beer. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, I have an app, and I just realized actually there's some sensitive information in that because it, it's a, uh -oh. it's an address book app. But we could we can we can work with it. Uh, so basically, let me remind you of my my game. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so I've, this isn't actually my. Th this is my first. Android phone that I, that I own own. Mm -hmm. I've, I've actually yeah. had a lot of review units, and I actually have a lot of review unit, units that I have for like two, three weeks at a time, and I have to send it back, and then I get a new one. So what yeah. ends up happening is I need to reload lots of apps often, and I've thought about this often. Which app do I reload? What, what is the first app that I put on? on That's a, new a phone? really good way to look at it. Yeah, what, yeah. Uh, and so okay, so one of the first things that I do is is I need to put my contacts on there. So what I've been doing is, um, let me show you real quick. Let's see if I can show you this page before I show you on camera. Yeah, we can do this. Okay. Uh, this is I called. I don't know. Video is frozen apparently. So. Oh. Uh, this is called Smarter <laughs> Contacts by um, uh, Zobni, which is inbox backwards. And okay. basically, what it does, and I think this is a feature that Ice Cream Sandwich is going to have. It it takes um, relational contacts like. Uh, your, your, your Twitter feed, your Facebook, your existing Google contacts, your existing address book, and fun funnels it all into one book. Yeah. And it has a great, uh, there we go. And it has, uh, you know, this is a, a fake account I created for a stormtrooper. Um, it, it creates uh, basically detailed information on phone numbers, email addresses, um, based on what it's discovered across all of those networks. Oh, oh cool. Um, this came out back in October. It's not a new application, but it's definitely one of the first applications that I load on the phone as, as my default um, address book. And it, it is definitely one of these applications that you really need to commit to. Yeah. Um, you need to, you know, you can... It's only as good as the data you have in it. Exactly. Right. Exactly. Um, here, let me see if I can show you some. Yeah. So here's the front page. Um, you, can, you can search your contacts. You can also look at it, it. It's scraping Facebook or LinkedIn and saying, oh, yeah, I have a picture for, for Jay. I have a picture for Stephanie Chu. Uh, it's... So it, it creates this great relational database. Um, it also looks at your existing, if, you, if you've got your Google Calendar attached, it also has your, your schedule for the day. Um, so this is kind of a cool, uh, you re, like I said, you really have to commit to it. Yeah. And, and it's probably, I don't know if I'm going to be using this once, once uh, Ice Cream Sandwich comes out because that, it's, it's, it's very similar to what yeah, it's doing. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. But it, I, I really pitched this before as, that's a feature that I want now, yep. and if you want that now, you should you should do it here. Or if you don't have ice cream sandwich, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. It, it is a free application, which makes it that's a bonus. Awesome, er. Yeah. 
Yep. Um, yeah, Zabni, actually, we share an office in Palo Alto. Oh, do you really? Yeah, you with do. Zabni. Yeah, they're okay. right across the yeah, way from Graphically's guys. office in Palo Alto. Yeah, which they're, they're, they're cool. They, they do cool, some cool stuff. And that's a, that's a neat that's a neat approach to contact management. I mean, it's a, it's a pretty app, too. It's another example of a pretty yeah, It is yeah, really pretty. Yeah. It also the looks at your coming. emails and, and looks like at, at other CC people on addresses and, and funnels them in there, too. So that oh. could be a problem if you get a lot of, like, PR emails. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. yeah that's for sure. Um, Interesting. Yeah. I dig it. You should use it. It's better than World of Goo. I don't, yeah, know, I don't know if you do that. It's, it's a fact. Yeah. It's a fact. It's better than World of View. Yeah. All right. So I guess I'm the reigning champion, so I go last. Yeah, you yeah, go with last. Two in a row, I'm just going to say. We've got a little streak going here. All right. So those of you who uh, follow me on Twitter at RonXO or anywhere else, um, you might know that in addition to Android, in addition to comic books, I'm actually a very big music fan. Um, I, I'm, I love music. I've been into music since uh, since high school and all that fun stuff. And I love to post songs uh, you know, through social media. I use blip.fm to post to Twitter and things like that. And I've been so jealous of the I. Uh, wow, the theme for this show is finally. Finally. Finally, yeah, finally and pretty. Finally, finally and, pr and well-designed apps. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, um, so one app that I've been, that's finally now on Android, that I've been jealous of my iOS friends has been an app called Soundtracking. Yep. Um, it's basically, in a nutshell, it's Twitter of music. Basically, mm -hmm. it's uh, it's it's same similar idea where it's an application that allows you to post the songs that you're listening to at that very moment. Um, you can follow people. Very similar functionality to Twitter, that sort of thing. Kind of like how Instagram is Twitter for mm -hmm. photos. Mm -hmm. Sound tracking is Twitter for music. Yep. Um, but it totally integrates in with Twitter. You can have it post directly to Twitter. You can have it post to to Foursquare because it's location based. You can have it post to Facebook. Super super cool. So we'll dive into it. And you'll see here, um, there's a couple of different ways to use it. So we've got my phone here, and I'm going to launch the sound tracking app. And you can see here I get my, um, I get a stream of my friends, and I see the, the recent songs they've been listening to. So here we can see that uh, Paris Lemon, who we talked earlier, MG, mm -hmm. uh, MJ Siegler was listening to Long Gone Day by Mad Season. Um, my friend Casey was listening to The Misfits. Steph was listening to Sean Hayes. Yeah, so it's cool. So you can, you can uh, participate in what your friends are listening to, and you can also listen from here, and you can also um, see where they are because location-based, they can post photos and things like that. Um, but really what I use it for is for posting. And so if you want to post something, you hit this little icon in the upper right-hand corner, which my finger is over, this little music symbol plus. And so now you can post a soundtrack, and you can either search for it, you can ID it similar to Shazam, or you can have it play, you can post the last song you were listening to on the phone, which is super, super cool. So the, the music ID is similar to Shazam. It's not going to work because I'm not playing a song right now, but you can see here now it's listening. If we're playing music, so if you're in a bar or if you're at a club, you can be like, oh, I like the song, and we'll listen to it. And if it finds it um, similar to Shazam, it will then post for it. It's not going to find it here because we're not listening to music. But... Um, see, it gives you a little, unfortunately, we can't, you know, so. Um, but I can, I can search for a song, so I can enter in an artist's name, and I can, you know, so I can type in Morrissey, and I can search their database for, you know. I like how Morrissey's in my database, in my uh, swipe uh, dictionary. <laughs> um, so you can search, and it will give you, so that if for some reason you can, um, you can, what you want, you can pick the songs that you want from there. But really the way I use it nine times out of ten is that I'll be in chat. I've got music here, so if you want to. So this, so I'll be listening to music through Google Music. All right, so I'm gonna press play, and eventually it'll come on. There you go. So, so I'm listening to my Christmas mix. Can you hear it, Chad? Yeah. Uh, hang on, my volume's up. There you go. Yeah. Yep. So you know, so I'm listening to Run Rudolph. Uh, sorry. So I'm listening to um, Run Rudolph Run, and if I go to um, the app, it will go to, you can see here, last song played, Run Rudolph Run, and I'll pick it up. Now, what's really cool is that um, if I change songs here, so I'm going to go, boop, and it's going to go to Last Christmas. So you see up here in my notifications, <laughs> it's a soundtracking Last Christmas, Last Christmas by Jimmy Eat World. So I can pull this down, and I can hit Last Christmas. And it will automatically load it into sound tracking. Makes it super easy to post the songs that you're listening to. Um, what's cool is that it will look for a photo. And so you can, you can attach a photo to it by taking a photo of your friends. Or you can choose a photo from your gallery or an artist image. And it will scan the internet. And it will search for Jimmy Eat World and Last Christmas. And it will give you um, various, you know, whether it's album art or pictures of the band or anything like that. So if you like to be phot photographic, say it's loading them up here. For some reason, it's showing the... the Yo Gabba Gabba. Oh, that's when Jimmy rolls on Yo Gabba Gabba. Uh -huh. So you can pick the various picture that you want, picture that you want. Um, and then you can add a place. So there's location. So I can say I'm at Twit or whatever. I can put a little message in it. Um, and then I can hit next. 
and then it's going to show me what the post will look like in sound tracking. I can pick whether I'm posting it to Twitter, Facebook, or, or Foursquare, and then post it. So for me, it's a real easy, simple way to um, to share with everybody what music I'm listening to at any given moment. So okay. I love it. I love it. I'm going to give you some and it's more. A well -designed, mm. And it's a well-designed app. And you've got some more functionality. I've got use some it a more, more functionality for you. And That's I'm the functionality selling. I found important. I'm, I'm going to sell this even more for Ron, no, even though you should vote him. for World of Goo. Yep. Here's the thing. This uh, app was just announced at the web while I was there. And the cool thing about the Android app versus the uh, iPhone app is that it's better. And the reason <laughs> why is the fact that uh, if you take a look at my screen here, you get full, uh, full song uh, listening. And you can also listen it in the app or, yep. uh, oh, I guess I'll go to iTunes. It's interesting. It depends on the song, but usually it'll give you listen to this track. Listen in audio, listen in Spotify, and you can hear the full track for iOS. They can only hear like 30 seconds. Now, that's really interesting because it also, because Mauricio and I were testing it uh, the other day, and it picks up if you're listening in audio, and you can soundtrack directly yeah. from there, but it didn't pick up when I was listening in Spotify. I'm, but it's I'm, interesting I'm gonna, that in there, you can do listen in Spotify. So yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sell it even more here. Yeah? Oh, this gosh, is totally this is not we, fair. This is not working out. I should out. be held Ron, but I, I do love this. Three app. in a row. I was telling Ron, because I, I, I ran into Steve Jang, the developer of, mm -hmm. of the application, and I asked him, like, please, like, I use Spotify and audio all the time. Can you not ID it on iOS? He says, no. Uh, applica and we all know this. IOS, iOS doesn't let other applications talk to each other. There's no cross. Yeah. It doesn't send that metadata to sound tracking. You can do that in Android. So uh, thus another reason why it's better than, than uh, by the way, it was just named iOS um, best music app of the year. Yeah, it's oh, great. So it's fantastic. So here you go. If you go to, so I, I'm not going to listen to the app on, uh, or listen to the track in the app. I'm going to go to audio. This is what I have to do. Then I just go to audio. Oh, shoot. I didn't sign yeah. in. If I was signed in, it would have just launched right See, then and there. See, because Android allows for app switching and yep. referring exactly. stuff. And so it's cool. It's cool. I mean, if you're a music fan, there's no reason not to be using it. And as we were talking about earlier, you see here, it's very well designed. I mean, if you hold yeah. it up, you know, like we're starting to see apps get iOS E kind of, you know, yeah. wonderful design. Um, sound tracking, as far as I'm concerned, it, for me, it was the race between Instagram and sound tracking of the two iOS apps I want the most on Android. And mm -hmm. now Instagram's lagging. I, yeah. sound track, I got sound you know, tracking. I'm happy. I feel bad for Blip FM because now I'm done with Blip FM. Like, I'm totally using yeah. it. Yeah. 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 So. I got to say, Instagram, I know that they say they're going to have an Android app. And I know that they have two people out there that are working on it. But I just, I don't know. I, I don't feel it. <laughs> yeah. You don't think I'll it's going to happen? When, or? Okay. I just, I, I don't know who knows how long it's going to take. But I just feel like. I'll just believe it when I see it. Yeah. So, um, sound tracking is going to win. And if you want to hear my Christmas mix, you can go to my website at ronxo.com. It's posted up there. So, if you like Christmas. Well, since I'm just a guest, um, I'm putting my hat in uh, Eileen's ring here. So. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Wow. World of Goo. World of Goo you know is World amazing. Of Goo, right? It is an amazing, it's amazing. game. It's thank worth you. five. It's worth ten dollars. <laughs> thank you. So let's start All the right. voting. Let's do it. Well, here's the poll. This week's poll is bitly, bit.ly/poll aaa38. Uh, but the AAA is in capital letters, so capital AAA38, and you can go there now to vote. Uh, I don't know who's going to win this. Currently, right now, it's World of Goo and sound tracking are in a in a in a tight race. Uh, it's one to one. <laughs> one to now, one. Now it's now it's World of Goo. I love the live. Look at these live results. That's great. Oh, World of Goo is running away with it. Hey, Come can on, everyone sound give me people. Uh, one pity vote sound, just now for the you next thirty seconds? You yeah. just did. You got. You oh, got it. right. Thanks. You go. I, love, I, I, could, I seriously sat the other day. I sat there and watched this for like five Did minutes. Did you really? Yeah, it's a lot of fun. There you go. Um, That's amazing. So yeah, so. Well, anyways, so there are the three apps, Smarter Contacts, World of Goo, or Sound Tracking. Go ahead and vote, bit.ly uh, slash poll, capital AAA38, and uh, results will be next week. Uh, next week, we're going to do uh, another grab bag in the arena. Actually, we're going to have two shows next week. We're going to have a regular show, then we're going to have a feedback show that's going to... Um, be our show for the last week of December. Uh, and, yeah, what are you doing? You're listening to this What song? app is playing music? It's RDO. Oh, sorry. sorry. <laughs> i got to turn that off. It's, uh, it's totally now <laughs> if an app doesn't show a uh, notification. Like, I've gotten so yeah. addicted to not the notification pane. I mean, like, yeah, that's, I know. you know, yeah, Me too. It's, oh, it's a lifesaver. Well, you know what? That is it for our show. Can you it's believe it? Show. Yay, Marisa. Show. Hey, Thank you so for much for being here and coming yeah. all the way up. Yeah. You know, it's, you're it's welcome really, to the Really, it's, it was selfish on my part because I just want some company on the drive. Yeah, I know. No. It's kind of a long and, drive. And then I made him drive. I think he was planning on having me drive up here. And I was like, hey, Ron, can you pick me up? So it worked out. Thanks, Ron. And yeah. then uh, you'll probably end up getting in and out after this. Possibly. Ah. We can go to the rich, oh, people, we go to the rich people's in and out in Mill Valley. Even better. We could. Even better.
Yeah. Oh, you don't go to the one here in Petaluma? No, I go to the rich people one in Mill Valley. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, it's usually yeah. high school kids there. They're yeah, actually... no, I know, but it's Mill Valley, so, so <laughs> this is like this is a, no. There's a four square chip on there that's a, that this that this oh. is this is like a rich people's in and out. <laughs> there's no well, drive through, which I thought every in and out was supposed to have. Oh, yeah. All right. I'm a well, uh, Mauricio, where should yes. everybody go if they want to find you? Check Plug me away. out. Check me out on uh, appjudgment.com, revision3.com slash appjudgment. We do Android stuff and we do uh, iOS stuff. I'm sorry. We do iOS as well. <laughs> um, and we're actually going to do a lot more Android stuff now. Now that since Ron left us, although I can invite him back. Everyone bailed on Android. I know. Everyone I know. bailed. Yeah. Well, I, just I was when the just, party's getting started. I was just in recently talking to talking Google TV. TV and yeah. yeah, no, a lot of a lot of Rev three years jumped to iOS. I just saw Brad. He he jumped to iOS now finally oh, as well, which I thought he'd never jump either. But um, it, it, yeah. you know, it's funny. It's actually App Judgment is the reason why I, I said I got to take one for the team. I'm gonna pick up an Android and I'm gonna I'm gonna do some reviews. But and, you're gonna and enjoy I ended it more. Up loving. Yeah, you're gonna enjoy it more. Yes, yes. I, I love App Judgment. That's a special place in our all of our hearts for App Judgment. Yes. Yeah. Well, thank you, Mauricio, again for coming up. Thank you. Making the trek. Ron, plug away. All right, you can also find me on Revision. 3.com slash app judgment occasionally when Mauricio remembers to call me um, <laughs> and uh, but you can find everything related to Ron at uh, about.me slash ronxo there's links to my Twitter Facebook uh, Google Plus all the fun stuff there go to my website ronxo.com to get my Christmas mix and other music mix if you're into music and if you're into comics check out ifanboy.com and graphically.com the companies I work for by day uh, doing nice. good stuff with comics. Okay you can find me on about.me slash Eileen Rose or at Eileen TV on Twitter and or G plus that to slash Eileen TV if you want her on Google Plus. Yeah. I'm her, they, they I'm her Google Plus publicist. Yeah. They don't. No. It drives me crazy. No, it's, no, yeah, they really yeah, need yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, but that's it. Go ahead and leave us a voicemail. 347 show AAA. Email and video mail at AAA at twit.tv. Uh, Twitter at Android Show. And all our show notes will be at twit.tv slash AAA. You can catch us live every Monday about 5.30 p.m. Pacific time on live.twit.tv. Thank you and have a great week. Yeah. Let me soundtrack this. Yeah, soundtrack all about <laughs> <drugs>. <laughs>